Hey Capricorn, welcome to my channel. My name is Iris and I am here to do your spiritual guidance reading for the month of June 2019. So as I was meditating on your cards Capricorn, I got, I, I felt a pain up the back of my neck and then all of a sudden I started to get a headache and I thought, what is that? What is that? And what came to me was stress. So are some of you feeling stressed about something that is causing some type of a, a tension in the back of your neck and in, in your head? That is the feeling that I got. So I'm not sure what that means for you, but I get the sense that, and the, the message that, you know what, just kind of like do this and then just relax and just eliminate some of that that stress and that tension that you're that's starting to build up in the back of your neck not sure what that means or, or how that is going to be um, relative to the reading that's that's coming up coming up but that's what I got from you so I am outside doing these readings today and it's kind of midday where I am right now so you're gonna hear um, some weed whackers lawnmower that type of thing so hopefully it's not um, too intrusive on the sound quality so I'm gonna be using three decks today the first one is wisdom of the Oracle and that's going to uh, be the energy that you're coming into June with and then I'm gonna use the fairy tarot for your spiritual guidance and then we'll cap off the reading with a card from uh, Kuan Yin's Oracle so let's get started for you Capricorn. Let's see what energy you are bringing in with you um, into the month of June. And with all, with all of the, the readings that I do, keep in mind that um, not all of the messages will resonate with every Capricorn out there and that's okay. If it doesn't resonate with you, don't try and make it resonate um, for you. It, uh, it just would mean that, that the reading isn't for you. The messages aren't for you and the cards are already out. And um, so, and then if, uh, if it does resonate with you, that, that is great. I wanna also just remind you that never to give your power away, your power of choice, your power of will, free will over to any card reader. The messages that I deliver for you today are, are meant to help you for your highest good on your highest path so there will never be anything bad in my reading it's just all it's all very good and it and it's designed to help you however um, don't take take my my reading or any other readers reading as the gospel you do have free choice and free will to use the guidance as you see fit um, for for yourself okay so let's get started with with the cards that have come out now this was this is the energy that you're coming into June with Capricorn and you have the observer but the observer is in reverse you have blessed as well and you have all that glitters and so what I'm getting a sense here um, of the energy that you're coming into is that you've got you've got a situation going on and this situation could be, could be an actual situation it could be a situation ship it could be a partnership it could be um, related to career or or work whatever it happens to be but you have this energy where I, I get the sense that you perhaps feel that there has been a, a little bit of um, wrongdoing and that could be this this tension that I that I was feeling in, in the back of my neck that there was there was a little bit of perhaps you feeling like treated unfairly or unjustly or, or a situation isn't um, going the way that you want it to is kind of what I'm what I'm getting and and with the observer you know um, the observer in an upright position is is you having a look at at a bigger picture and seeing things from a different perspective and standing back and just seeing the situation for what it is 
but with it being reversed like this, I feel that it is like you haven't had the opportunity to do that or haven't had the awareness that, huh, maybe I should just kind of take a step back and just, you know, see things from a different perspective and see the, the whole picture um, globally. Because within there, um, there are some really good things out of it. So sometimes the situation isn't going the way we want it to or a relationship isn't going the way we want it to and we actually don't see the blessing that's actually um, there for us so things you know blessings don't always show up for us in in the way of, of the giving of things but it's also the blessing in what's not happening or what's not working out the way we want it to um, because maybe that's just not the way it is actually supposed to be going maybe maybe something is being withheld from us because it's, it's actually a blessing in disguise and so all that glitters and this is kind of a funny card all that glitters talks about you looking looking at at something and thinking you know you know it's that shiny object syndrome where you're thinking okay you know the grass is greener over there or or it's better over there or that thing is better but with it being reversed like this I think that you've kind of got the ability to to say okay you know it it, it not everything is cracked up to what it what it looks like right and you're and I get that that you know with the observer energy you know not only that is the energy you haven't been looking at something in a big picture but you're also not you're not being swayed or or having any kind of like you know something over there is better for me or you know um because can it, in an upright position like you can see these masks there right so there's a false sense of it of whatever that thing is but you're not actually you're not falling into the guise of you know what is what is being masks masked which is really good because there is something there that is is showing up for you that is actually a blessing for you but you know you haven't also had that that opportunity to kind of take a step back and see things from a bigger bigger vantage point and a, and a bigger perspective so that's the energy that you're coming into this month with and actually it's a pretty good energy um, if I might say so so I am outside and our neighbors are barbecuing and it smells really good <laughs> and you can't smell that but it smells really good okay so let's go let's look on to look to the, the spiritual guidance for the month of June Capricorn and the first card that came out is the Eight of Autumn, which, and this card is about um, being a mentor or seeking out a mentor. It's also about um, projects. It's about learning. Um, it, it could be about school, going back to school. Um, you know, it's about learning and, it, and education, that level, next level of education. And it falls underneath the Observer card. So let's get some more cards out here and then we'll put the, the storyboard <clears throat> uh, and guidance together for you. Oops, that is way too many cards. So let's just keep going here. I hope that you have all had um, a really good May. Life is, May has been good to you and that life has been good to you. Doesn't sound by the card so far that anything um, horrific has been has been going on, but you know, definitely something that is is causing you some some tension and, and giving you a headache. So, let's see, let's see what we have for you. So I know sometimes the cards can take a little bit of time to come out. However, um, I just have to be patient. If you want to, you can fast forward until the cards do start start coming out. And I do apologize. Sometimes they take a bit. I know some of the readers um, they pull card and I, I pull cards, and I tried that, and it just it just didn't feel right for me. So I've just got to uh, go go with this, and just I have to be patient and let the cards come out. your energy cards came out very, very quickly. 
They're wanting to come out. <laughs> I'm just going to pause this video and I will be right back and I'm going to tune into these cards here. Okay, here we go. So that actually did. Um, the energy in the cards was, was quite slow moving. So I did pause it so that you didn't have to sit there for um, a couple of minutes and wait for all the cards to come out. So I do apologize for that. Sometimes that's, that's just the way um, the cards goes. But, you know, I don't want to make you wait, make you wait and, while I'm shuffling the cards. So what came out for you, Capricorn, is the eight of autumn, the six of spring, and the moon. And so as I started to say, um, the eight of autumn talks about being a mentor um, or, or having a mentor. It talks about going back to school, learning new things. So, you know, for for part of this reading, you know, the, the readings aren't specific to, to career or relationships or anything like that, but I do get the sense that for some of you, this does have to do with, with a career, and it's either something related to a, a job um, in terms of a career or something that you want to create in your business, whether you are a mentor or you are looking for a mentor. But the guidance for you is that that with with the moon and with this six of spring that there is there is good news coming for you so this queen here is on on her horse and this is about um being recognized for something so this could even be um a promotion um or the next step in your in your business but there's there's something that hasn't been fully discussed disclosed to you you don't see the whole the whole truth of a situation and remember with the observer card um, it, that we had in that we had in in reversed um, with the energies coming in um, there's a there's a big picture thing that is happening for you um, as you come into the month and but things are going to you will have epiphanies um, whatever whatever you don't know yet you will know so the moon represents you know is always kind of that shadow um, part of us whether it's part of us or, or the shadow that's that's over top of, of a situation you know we don't have full illumination by the moon but that is going to be shifting for you and what's what's being asked of you is that you you take on the emperor energy and the emperor energy is about using logic and it's about the balance between what you feel intuitively in your heart and and what you know logically so it's about that balance and it's about um, being a leader but also being a leader um, in your own life so some of you might be leading a team but for some of you this is about you know choices because and also it falls underneath the the eight of autumn which is talking about the mentoring and the learning and the seminars and and it's that next level of higher education whatever that means for you or higher learning it doesn't have to be like technically school right it's it's just that next level of learning but you're being encouraged to like there's a, there's some emotion going on here so there has to be kind of a balance between what uh, logically what what is right and what feels right in your heart because we should always move forward in our life in terms of our own growth from a place of honoring um, what's in our heart and what we feel is the best thing for us and keep in mind you know blessings are all around you and blessings like I said they don't always show up and here's like the good news card they don't always show up by things that are working in our favor sometimes things are withheld from us or we have to pivot a little bit because um, there's blessings in not having things work out 
the way we want them to or the way we think they should. And so right next to the amper we have the spring, uh, the, the prints of spring and you can see here this this fairy is on riding this hare and you know it's kind of like the tortoise and the hare the hare is like racing like a bullet um, to get to the finish line so in as much as this means like you know swift forward movement um, sometimes moving too quickly is also not not the best things and sometimes you have to um, slow your roll a little bit so that you have time to um, to do this to, to carefully think things through and and then just to finish this out for the ten of spring is this is about a lot of responsibility you know watch that that you're not um, taking on too much responsibility that just becomes so overwhelming for you and this is this is guidance right so I do kind of feel strongly that this has to do with career although it it doesn't have to but the overall guidance for you this month Capricorn is just understand that there's something you're not seeing the bigger picture here and things will come into full illumination for you and then you will have some forward movement in whatever it is that is going on here um, don't be afraid to ask for help right so either seek out somebody who can help you with this situation a mentor or be that mentor for somebody else because you do with the eight of autumn and the emperor you do you do have um, leadership in um, in your in your your guidance for this month so I think this is more about you being the mentor as as it is you seeking out the mentor but that doesn't mean that you can't ask for help along the way because anytime we're learning something new in terms of our of our um, next iteration of ourselves and in moving forward in our lives there are things that we don't know as we move forward on on this path um, where we do need to get help from other people and don't think that you have to carry the weight of the world There's that stress in the back of my in the back of my neck again Don't feel like you have to carry the weight of the world on your shoulder You can there can be a distribution of, of, of tasks and, and responsibility and, and um, So that you don't feel so weighted down. I hope that that um, that has been helpful for you Capricorn and that that this is um, uh, resonating with you but now I want to move on to uh, Kuan Yin Oracle and see what pops out in terms of overall spiritual guidance from the Oracle for the month of June so let's see what comes out here for you oh there we go there it is okay so uh, your card is Sound the Fierce Flute, right here. And these cards are absolutely so beautiful. I don't know all of the meanings of all the cards, so I do have to reference the handy dandy book. So I'll go speedily to the page 29, and here we go. Discernment empowers you to make choices that are aligned with your spiritual intentions. Like a fierce sounding flute cutting through all vibrations with purity and intent, your discernment allows you to stay true to your value and spiritual destiny without getting caught up in distraction. If you wish to grow spiritually through love, joy, peace and abundance, then discerning between higher and lower vibrational choices is helpful. It is wise to be accepting of all of life and not to judge people or situations as good or bad. Some are more pleasant than others and yet sometimes a challenge can turn out to bring us great growth and opportunity, which in turn becomes a blessing, which is something that we talked about in the reading. However, this does not mean that we are wise to abandon the power of choice. We can use our discernment to be guided on our path to the most joyful, uplifting, and helpful experiences for our soul growth. Discernment is not judgment. It does not render some things better or worse than others. It is a power of selection based on desire or intention. If we intend to grow through joy and adventure rather than fear and suffering, then we can use our discernment to make choices that feel expansive and uplifting rather than constrictive constrictive or draining. 
Discernment is necessary in all realms of life, from the physical role to the spiritual, from the sort of lifestyle we choose to lead to the people we choose to spend time with, or the ways that we spend most of our time. Even the kinds of spiritual energies that we invoke, discerning choices help us craft our reality. A wise use of discernment helps us to be truthful, clear, and accurate in our perceptions. So remember we talked about the energy of the moon too. Like the fierce flute cutting through all vibrations, discernment shatters illusion and gets to the truth of the matter right to the essence. With the truth, there is no nasty surprises later on, or if there are, we can deal with them swiftly and use them for growth with minimal suffering. We can ascertain what is real and what is false. They, this inner knowing informs our choices so that we seek out those people, places, opportunities, and experiences that feel aligned with love. Then our life path becomes one of greater joy and well-being. Your discerning powers are growing and you are capable of the greatest discernment when you listen to your heart and are able to let go of fear and shame which cloud your perception. This oracle has come to you because you are in need of seeing a situation in your life from your heart rather than from appearances. Don't be afraid to trust your own vision, beloved. It will help you live your truth and take good care of your own soul. So that just really echoes everything in this reading that we've been talking about and uh, so Capricorn, I hope that you have found this reading helpful. I hope that you have been able to or will be able to kind of pluck out some things that will, will help you through the month of June. Um, leave a comment below. Let me know what's going on. Let me know how I can help you. If you want to book a private reading with me, I will leave all of the contact and detailed information below this video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And um, if you are not already a subscriber to this channel and you like this video, go ahead and click that subscribe button. So Capricorn, have an amazing June. I'm sending you so much love and light and healing and blessings. And we'll see you in time for a, a quick touch base in June. I'm going to start touching base kind of mid-month, um, every month, as well as the overall monthly readings. And until I see you again, take care and thank you for watching.